When they do MRIs and you see a normal brain, it has a central area light up, and then you, you give a person cocaine and you give a person sugar. If you notice in the MRI scans right here, it actually innervates the same part of the brain. So how difficult is that if you basically have told your children, or your children now have access to all this food all over, and they can trigger the same part of their brain that cocaine does just by eating something that has a chemical structure to it? Does that concern you a little bit? Yes, it should. But here's what we do, especially in my family. You know, I, I could beat my head up against the wall all day trying to tell my kids not to have foods that are, that are not good for them. This has to start with you. So if you're a parent in this room and you're trying to get your kids to really follow something strong, you need to be the leader on this. And again, sugar, it's how much? How many grams for women? 25. How many grams for men? How many people are going to have more than that tonight? Fruit was, was given to us high in antioxidants, high in enzymes. The catch to that is you don't have to count the sugar from your fruit. The catch is it has to, well, it should be organic, but you need to eat the whole fruit. That means that you can't, like, you can't like juice the apple up, take the skin off and juice the apple up. You can't just take the, uh, the, the, the orange and squeeze the juice and drink that. The way that fruit is designed from the ground up is that it actually has a perfect balance of fiber to counter out the sugar inside the fruit. So I highly recommend you have the fruit. That means your apple does not count towards sugar. The problem when you eat out, or the problem when you get a lot of foods that are processed or, or, or foods that are in boxes, is that the level of salt is insane. So this, the, the, the studies show this, is that 15, 13, 1,500 milligrams, let's say to round it off, 1,500 milligrams a day if you are having a challenge losing your belly fat. You can move all the way up to 2,300 milligrams a day if you've got a healthy metabolism and you're working out. Now, it's, it's inevitable that somebody's going to come up to me afterwards and say, hey, you know, pink salt, Himalayan sea salt is better for you. Or, you know, salt's good for you, you should have salt. And you're correct. But salt's only good for you if your body's going to use it. So if you're sitting on the couch and you're not working out, and you're not sweating, you're not moving, then that extra salt causes havoc. You ever put, put metal in salt? It's corrosive. It's the same exact thing in your body. Now, it also builds up electrolytes. So if you're working out, then you'll use them. But if you're not, and you're, and you're just, you know, on a, on a sedentary lifestyle, then it's 1,500 or 2,300 milligrams. Here's the catch. Who asked about going out and eating at a restaurant? All right, are you, are you a confrontational person or do you just let things slide, slide by? All right, depends on how hungry you are. <laughs> Good answer. So when you go to a restaurant, and my wife is celiac, so we have to do this, and it's gotten uncomfortable, but now I really prefer it, you always want to ask them to prepare your meal without, without salt, and then season it when it comes to the table. The average chicken breast in a restaurant is 2,000 milligrams of sodium. And I'm not a big fan of buying these low-salt, low low-fat products until, until somebody opened my eyes to what they actually do is they, the, the, the chicken that comes out of China or the chicken that comes out of some of these other countries, they're allowed to inject it with saline solution. And they don't do it for flavor. They say it's extra flavor, but you know what they do it for? To pump up the poundage of the chicken. So now the chicken that weighs, you know, a pound when it's just raw the way it is now weighs a pound and a half per breast. And if you Google this on YouTube, you literally see a lady sitting with a bucket. She's sucking up the saline solution, shooting it, and the chicken, it just pops open like that. So in this case, to save money and to save health, you want to go get the low-sodium chicken breast. And we found them at uh, Publix, and uh, Whole Foods has a great organic one also.